My dear, respected, beloved brothers and sisters, I ask Allah to accept everything that you have done in the last nine days. May Allah accept the fasting that you have done and every single dua. Ya Allah, we beg you with the best of your names for every dua we made on the day of Arafah. Ya Allah, accept it. Every year around this time, we remember Ibrahim alayhi salam, and you hear many stories about his submission to Allah, about his obedience, about his patience. But today, I will take something different, something so special about Ibrahim, and that is his discipline. When we think about the word discipline, we often think about punishment and restrictions, but actually discipline was defined best by Abraham Lincoln when he said, choosing what you want most over what you want now. And this is exactly what happened with Ibrahim alayhi salam. When he was ordered by Allah to migrate, with discipline he obeyed. When he was ordered by Allah to build the Kaaba in the scorching heat, with discipline he built it. When he was ordered to leave his wife and son in a lifeless desert, with discipline he did it. When he was ordered to slaughter his only son, whom he loved the most, with discipline he attempted it. Happiness eludes us if we do not have discipline in our life. And we as Muslims, the carriers of the only true religion on this earth, should know most about discipline. We have to live by discipline in the masjid, in the workplace, at home, at school, in the marketplace, wherever we go, whatever we do, it should be with discipline. Is there any more disciplined religion than Islam? Can we fast in December because it's very cold and Maghrib is too early? No, if Ramadan comes in July or June, you fast in June. Let's go to Hajj and Shaban because there's nobody there. No, you go with discipline. Can I pray whenever I want? No, you pray at exact specific times in a road that has to be straight, foot to foot, shoulder to shoulder. Discipline, this is Islam. Islam is so disciplined that we are told which hand to eat with, which foot to enter the restroom with, what to say when it rains, what to say when it thunders, what to say when you have a new baby, what to say when you enter the marketplace, what to say when you enter the court. Everything is detailed. Which religion does that? We are the religion of discipline, and when we apply this discipline in our life, peace be upon you all. Said you do not leave anything. Listen carefully, my brothers and sisters. You do not leave anything for the sake of Allah, except Allah will replace you with something better. Discipline. Sometimes we sell and buy haram. We buy and sell haram because we are worried about our risk. Where's the discipline when you were told that he is the one? He is alive. Where is the discipline when you remember discipline is choosing what you love most over what you love now? We all love Janet, and that is our main goal, our main target. And what we love now might take us away from our main goal. So, we have to give up what we love now. Give up sleeping when the time for Fajr comes, you see? That is exactly the utmost daily discipline. It is I and you, we want to sleep. We are human beings, we are tired, especially in these days when the night is very short. We want to sleep. But Allah said, or rather, the Quran said, prayer is better than sleeping. Discipline, get up, even though yourself, your nafs, is telling you sleeping is better than praying. But with discipline, you get up and you go to your masjid and you pray every single day. We are taught how to be disciplined in our deen, discipline in our speech, discipline in our behavior, discipline in our emotions, discipline in our desires. Yusuf, because of his discipline when he was seduced by the wife of the Aziz, because of his discipline, he resisted. My brothers and sisters, my young brothers and sisters, where we are exposed to this haram day and night on Instagram and all kinds of social media say, I will not do it because of his discipline. Allah made him established on earth. When he left something for the sake of Allah, do not worry, do not worry at all. Whatever is haram, leave it for the sake of Allah and be guaranteed, be certain. Have yakin that Allah will definitely replace it with something better. If you leave something for me as a human being, something that you love so much, and you left it just for me, I will reward you. How about if you left it for Allah? How he's going to treat you? You will see the baraka when you leave some haram for the sake of Allah. When you leave something forbidden for the sake of Allah. Allah will put baraka in your deen, baraka in your children, baraka in your time, baraka in your wealth, baraka in your health. But we are so scared because we do not have discipline. We want what we want now. We are doing what we want now rather than what we want most. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many places told us, obey Allah and obey the messenger. And this is the moral in our life. Apply discipline in your life and you will see the success in this dunya and in the akira. 
Think about discipline as it's your ability to say no when you deep down inside you want to say yes. Discipline is when it's your ability to say no when deep down inside you want to say yes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us discipline in everything that we say and everything that we do, my brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, today is the day. Find today is the day of eating and drinking and joy and happiness. Make sure you bring that to your family. We're talking about discipline. Have time discipline. Your time, time for yourself, time for your work, time for your community, and absolutely priority time for your family. Give them the time, especially in the days of Eid. We only have two Eid. We don't have 50 like others, just two. Make sure you make it a very special day for the children every single Eid. Let them look forward to that day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a joyous Eid. May Allah accept from all of us. May Allah accept from all our brothers and sisters that are in Hajj right now. May Allah make our last deeds, our best deeds and our last words.